This probably isn't something you see too much of nowadays. With all the advanced technology available to us today, it's no wonder newspapers have taken a back seat. Stay tuned, maybe grab a paper of your own as we take a walk through newspapers' rich history and answer the big question, are newspapers still relevant? The publication of newspapers can be linked back to five centuries ago. In Renaissance Europe, handwritten newsletters circulated privately among merchants, passing along information about everything from wars and economic conditions to social customs and human interest features. In America, the first newspaper appeared in Boston in 1690, entitled Public Occurrences Both Foreign and Domestic. It was published without any consent, therefore it was immediately abolished, its publisher Benjamin Harris arrested, and all copies were destroyed. The first successful newspaper was the Boston Newsletter, started by postmaster John Campbell in 1704. Although it was heavily funded by the colonial government, the paper was a near failure, with very limited circulation. By the beginning of the Revolutionary War, there were about a dozen newspapers being printed in the American colonies. After the war ended in 1783, there were about 43 newspapers printed throughout the colony. The reason why there were this many papers being printed is because of the different opinions about the war and politics. The ratification of the Bill of Rights in 1791 guaranteed freedom of the press. When the First Amendment was ratified, newspapers soared through the American colonies and publications started to grow in every state. By 1814, the number of newspapers quickly rose by the hundreds due to the emergence of the penny press. It was now possible to produce a newspaper that could be sold for just a cent a copy. This was huge because before the penny press, newspapers were affordable to only wealthy individuals. During the Civil War, the remarkable demand for timely, accurate news reporting transformed American journalism into a compelling force in the national life. For the first time, civilians could read about the horrors of the Civil War and even gander at some of the gory illustrations. From 1865 to the late 1980s, newspaper reached an all-time high. However, that quickly faded when people were introduced to the internet. After a review of readership charts and graphs, there's no secret that circulation has declined. However, print is still the most commonly used form of newspaper reading. Now, let's hear from some of the Penn State students. Last time I used a newspaper was on Thursday of Thanksgiving because I needed the coupons for Black Friday. My mom and grandma wanted them. Last time I used a newspaper, um, I don't remember, I don't think I've ever had used one before, but I remember when the election finished on election day, I picked the newspaper up the next morning just because it had the headline. It was pretty cool to just keep. I believe they are. Uh, I see them a lot of wah wah. Uh, I know my mom gets them. Newspapers aren't really relevant anymore because there's like online news you can go on your phone. Uh, now iPhones even have like a tab where you just swipe and see all like all the updates. Um, just YouTube to catch like headlines, and uh, you can just go on TV. most reading the paper nowadays is the older ones ranging from 55 to 80 whereas the lowest percentage of readership is coming from the late teens to early 20s. Potential reasons why these teenagers are not as into newspapers as the elder generation, less of a requirement, their, their demands are met faster by internet and television. It's no secret that newspapers are not as relevant as they once were. However, they still carry vital information and pioneered us to our modern day lifestyle.